Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we will be talking about how the gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide are being transported inside your body. That is in which form are they being transported? So we need to have a clear idea that how, in which ways are they being transported inside your own body. If you're taking in oxygen, how, in which form it's being dissolved inside your blood, exactly inside your RBCs or your plasma. So we need to have a clear idea about what is happening and in which ways is this form transported, right? So the topic for the day is transportation of, forms of transportation of oxygen and CO2. So in this video, first we will be talking about how from this alveoli, this portion is the alveoli and from this portion, what is happening? Through the alveoli, what is coming inside? Oxygen. So the whole 100% oxygen is coming inside and let's move to this part now. Imagine this is the inside portion of your body. Now when it is coming inside, what is happening inside? 1.5% is dissolved inside your plasma and 1.5% out of that 100% oxygen is being dissolved inside the plasma. That is dissolved in plasma. Right. Now rest of it, that is 98.5% of hemoglobin combines with oxygen and forms oxyhemoglobin, that is HbO2. Now this oxyhemoglobin moves to the heart and the heart pumps it into the body cells. So this is coming. Just look at this part of the diagram that this is the alveoli, this is the lung part and from the alveoli, the 100% of the oxygen is coming in. But out of that 100%, only 1.5% of oxygen is dissolved in plasma. The rest of the 98.5% of oxygen combines with the hemoglobin, that is this HBG presents hemoglobin, combined with hemoglobin and forms oxyhemoglobin, that is HbO2. Now this HbO2 then later moves to the heart. Through the heart, it is being pumped into the body cells. Now through the body cells, when the oxygen will go inside the body cell, it will get oxidized, it will oxidize the food. I have already told you in the previous videos guys, how is the oxidation of food happening? Now if the oxygen is oxidizing the food, it is releasing energy in the form of ATP. Then it is also releasing H2O plus CO2. Now, as soon as all the cells will have the oxygen, they will automatically oxidize the food and they will release some amount of energy that is in the form of ATP and H2O and CO2. So obviously, if oxygen is being used up and what is coming out, CO2 is coming out, that means the level of CO2 will increase. Now that level of CO2 is 100% with us, 70% of CO2 dissolves, with, uh, dissolves inside the uh, blood right it is being dissolved and rest of the 21 that is in the form of hco3 23 percent mixes with the hemoglobin and fox forms carboxyhemoglobin right next what is happening here after that dissolved 18 71 percent of the total part is dissolved in the hemoglobin and this is how it is it is in the form of hbco2 okay and it is also dissolved in the plasma Right, so this is how the oxygen and CO2 are being transported inside your body in whatever forms. Next, we will move to hemoglobin. That is the hemoglobin with which it is combined. With this part, HbCO2. This is combined with the seventh person who is in the alveoli. Now, if we are talking about hemoglobin, oxyhemoglobin, deoxyhemoglobin, to usme first we need to know about hemoglobin structure. So now hemoglobin is a conjugated molecule. It is a conjugated molecule. That means it consists of both protein and a non-protein part. So the protein part is the globin part and the non-protein part is the heme part. So this is the diagram that I've drawn. In this, what is given, this part, this portion till here is the heme part. And this portion is the innate dissolved ring. This portion is the globin peptide. Now what happens, there are the six binding sites in the hemoglobin molecule. Six globin, uh, uh, six, uh, six binding site means, this is the sixth binding site. I'm saying in total there are six. That is one, two, three, four, fifth and sixth. So what is happening here? 
this is already attached to CH2, this imidazolrin, it is already attached to the globin peptide here also. Now on the sixth binding site, they are having tetrapyrrole ring, the heme is having the tetrapyrrole ring. In between Fe2 plus ions are present and you also know that iron is Fe3 plus also. But what happens, hemoglobin is se form nahi ho paata kyunki is se oxygen combine nahi kar paata. So the oxygen and hemoglobin hota hai, wo konza hota hai Fe2 plus. Is ki sixth binding site yaha top corner pe lie karti hai and when on the sixth binding site, oxygen comes and binds it forms oxyhemoglobin so this is the process which is going on in the transportation of oxygen and co2 inside your body how are they being transported in which form are they being transported and how is hemoglobin being an important molecule inside your blood for the combination of these two agents this is playing a very important role how because it consists of two parts the heme part and the globin part heme refers to the non-protein part and globins refers to the protein part. There are a total of six binding sites and these six binding sites, the six binding site would lie at the top, combines with oxygen and forms oxyhemoglobin. And this one is the deoxyhemoglobin because at this point of time there is no oxygen which is binding to the sixth binding site and here it is one oxygen which is binding to the hemoglobin part so this is known as the oxyhemoglobin and this is how the oxygen and carbon dioxide are being transported in which forms inside your body so i hope you guys are liking this video guys i hope you guys are understood it is a very clear and very simple video and click the li uh, like button guys subscribe to my channel and take care